Hey everybody, this is Jesse from Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your Nexus 4 into a Nexus 5. There are only a couple things that separate the 4 from the 5. One of them is hardware. We can't do anything about that because the Nexus 5 has a better screen, it has better internals, a faster processor. But it also has something called the Google Experience Launcher. And you can just download that, which will give you all the software capabilities of the 5 on your Nexus 4. So here's how you do it. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the website that I've linked for you in the description and download the launcher. Once you do that, you'll find it in downloads on your Nexus 4. So I've got mine right here. You're going to go here. Um, you're going to get a message that for your security, the phone is set to block installations of apps from outside sources. You're going to go to settings. You're going to make sure that you have unknown sources checked. You'll get a little warning here telling you that this could potentially be dangerous, but I vouch for the source of this app. Go ahead and hit OK. And then once you download it, hit back. I'm going to try to open it again. You'll get this screen. Do you want to install this launcher? Hit install. Your phone will install it. You can hit open. And immediately you'll get the new launcher. So there are only a couple of differences in the new launcher between what you'll get stock on your Nexus 4 and what's available stock on the Nexus 5. One of them is you're going to see that you now have translucent bars on the top and the bottom of your screen, whereas before they were just black bars, just a little visual flourish. You'll see that the app launcher is different, or the application drawer, excuse me. Um, there's no longer a uh, separate tab over here for widgets. It's just more of a streamlined experience. Now, if you want to long press on the home screen, this is how you're going to actually access your widgets. You long press, go to widgets this way, then you can drag and, drag and drop a widget. Um, you've also got a setting for Google Now right there, which is, comes in handy. And you can change your wallpapers right here. One of the main draws of down, downloading new launcher is you now have Google Now integration built right into your home screen. So whereas before you would long press the home button and then drag up to get to Google Now, you can now do that just by a simple swipe to the left. It's now a part of it. It's very streamlined. It's part of the process. Also, you can access it with a voice command on any home screen, which is different. Before, you'd have to hit the mic to issue a command, and now you can just say the words just looking at your home screen. You can say, OK, Google, and there you go. It'll turn on instantly ready for you to give commands. That's a great feature. So besides some visual flourishes with the new launcher, um, the biggest draw is going to be the Google Now integration. You should check it out. You should set it up. It's a good thing. Um, if you don't like the launcher, it's actually really easy to change. You just go to settings and you go to home and you can select your previous launcher here. So anytime you don't like it, just tap that, go back. You see I've got the old launcher now because I've got the black bars at the top and the bottom. Just going to change it back real quick because I think the new launcher is pretty great. <laughs> so the Nexus 4 is actually really good at running this launcher because the internals are very similar to the Nexus 5. So you're not going to really see a whole lot of differences. Um, even though the Nexus 5 is a new phone, it's just only a little bit faster. Just a little bit faster. There are a couple little uh, anomalies. For example, one is that this Pandora widget that I have, because the display of the Nexus 4 is sized differently than the Nexus 5, it's a different resolution. This Pandora widget is a little short. You can see on my Nexus 5, it fills up the whole screen, whereas here it doesn't. So you're going to see little, little things like that that are going to be small differences, but you won't really notice them for the most part. The Nexus 5 is a little speedier. You'll notice that if you go into widgets here on the Nexus 4, you start swiping through. It'll start to slow down a little bit, not too much. It's actually pretty zippy, so I think you're going to be really happy with it. Since the Nexus 4 handles the new launcher so well, I highly recommend you download it because the only differences are going to be small performance changes that you're probably not going to notice anyway. The Nexus 4 handles the Google Experience launcher really, really well, so give it a go. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And for the full tutorial, check out Nexus 5 Softmodder. Thanks a lot.